Hi Moglets, so I wanted to make a little update on my Emily showcase. You guys were super not happy about that and I do apologize. In my opinion, the worst thing was going Dragon's Bane to start with. It it's an EM weapon and yeah, you're not supposed to really build her with EM actually. Before going into floor 12, we actually do switch to Missive Wind Spear, which is uh, obviously a lot better. I would have gotten Deathmatch, but that's Battle Pass weapon. That was just straight up lazy on my part. I should have raised it, and I also shouldn't have recommended the craftable weapon because that's also EM. Also, I do want to mention, I do do research before making these videos these days, and the guide I was referencing from what I thought was a very reputable and respected source, apparently it's not, did recommend this as the best free-to-play weapon, and I just kind of figured they knew better than I did. I tried to understand why this weapon was recommended, and at the end of the day, I just figured, well, they must know what they're doing because, you know, they're respected and everyone just shits on me constantly for being wrong about everything. So they must, they must know what's going on and not me. So I was like, yeah, this is, this is a good weapon. And yeah, that was stupid. I should have just thought for myself. So I do take full responsibility for that. About Golden Troop, uh, this was the other thing people were not happy about. I mean, I do mention, of course, give her her signature if you have it. We tried to make a set for her. It didn't work out. I do also mention Deepwood's good. Maybe I should have, you know, made sure one is specifically worse than the other and Golden Troop is worse than Deepwood. I have since compared the two sets and while yes, Deepwood is overall better, I don't think it's so far off that saying building her in Golden Troop is a straight up mistake. Like if you have really good Golden Troop pieces versus, you know, a mediocre Deepwood set, I would still say Golden Troop can come out on top. Yes, her A1 does not benefit from this. I knew this the entire time. I felt like the extra damage we get from the E-Ticks, you know, makes up for the damage we lose from this. Ignoring Burst, I think it more or less does. I should have said Deepwood is better, period. I really am trying to not have anything super wrong in my videos. I know that's hard to believe because it seems like every time I do anything, there is something wrong. It's just, especially on these day one reviews, there's really not a lot of, you know, good info out there. And there is, a, you know, a good amount of bad info as well. I know at the end of the day, it's on me and what I put out there, which is why I am full heartedly apologizing. And I should have explained more why we're still going Golden Troop, even though it doesn't do anything for her A1 or Burst. I've always appreciated feedback and being called out when I'm wrong about something, but I feel like, especially recently, it's gotten incredibly toxic. Some of you have probably noticed I'm not really in the comment section these days at all anymore because honestly, on a lot of days, I just can't take it. So I do want to compare the two sets again. It could be I just didn't do enough testing and maybe there's a bigger difference than I originally saw. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. Since this is directly referencing the free to play Emily, we're also giving her the missive wind spear back. So we're doing about 9,000 per tick here and 23,000 with the passive. I'm going to do five runs on Masanori. It's going to be a pretty simple test. I'm basically just going to be looking at the highest critical numbers, which I've already seen is about 9,026 up there. The damage does change a bit over the course of battle. So in both sets, I'm just going to be looking at the highest damage numbers, uh, which for Golden Troop here is 9,026 for the E and 26.9 for the passive. We'll check the burst as well because that's obviously important. Um, 16.8 there. We'll just say per tick. We're going to switch over to Deepwood now and I will try my best to keep the stats as close as possible. For reference, we have 2470 attack and 121 crit damage. As far as actual damage numbers go, nothing else really matters. We will have extra Dindra damage, but that's just the benefit of Deepwood set, so I'm not going to even you know, care about that. After playing around for a while and actually ending up in five piece deep wood, uh, this is the closest we could get. I don't think we can get closer. We have 27 more attack, which, you know, on top of 2,500 is not going to make a big difference. And we have 0.8% more crit damage, which again is such a tiny difference. I don't think it's going to matter. I already know deep wood is better. I just want to see more closely by how much. So yeah, we are hitting for about 8,091 now. So with our E, we are losing about a thousand damage per tick there. I'll fight him a couple more times just to make absolutely sure it is the highest number. We are also doing the exact same thing we were doing with Golden Troop. Uh, basically just planting Emily's, you know, flower on the field and going to Benny, slashing him once for the burning, and that's it. Okay, so the big issue was that Golden Troop doesn't affect this big uh, passive attack here, that 36k. And yes, that's true. That does about 10,000 more damage now. Again, I'm going to make sure that is the highest passive. I, I already did see a lower one. Yeah, there, there was a 31.9. I also saw some in the high 20ks, so it does vary a bit, which is why I just want to take the highest in both cases. 
36 1 yeah after several more rotations that's the highest i can see so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go ahead and try her burst now as well and yeah those i did see at least 122k in there so we'll go with that so just looking at the numbers we get a thousand extra per e uh, 10,000 less with A1 and about 6K left per hit of her burst, which that's hard to calculate because it depends on if you're in AOE or not. On single target, we hit Masanori like maybe three to four times. So I'm not trying to argue Golden Troop is better. I just don't think it's as bad as people say it is. The E fires about every 1.5 seconds and at level two, it fires twice. The A1 fires one time every four seconds at best and the burst fires one time every 13.5 seconds at best. We can bump this up to 18 every 13.5 seconds to line up with the burst and we'll just have to go three on the A1 because four would be 16 and that's further away than 13.5. So in those 13.5 seconds, we're doing 162,468 with Golden True if we assume all shots are criticaling and it's already at level two when we start, say like after doing her burst. 80.7K from her A1 and 50.4K from her burst. We'll say three shots land. Obviously would be a lot different in AOE situations where maybe every hit would land, but it is what it is. On deep wood, those same 18 attacks would end up being 145,638, 108.3K on A1, and around 66K for the burst. Bring the total to 293.6K on Golden Troop and 319.9K on deep wood, making the difference of the two after we can say 12 to 14 seconds, about 26K. While yes, that is something, in the scope of full team rotations after 14 seconds, you know, you're looking at hundreds of thousands, if not millions of damage. So 26K is pretty small in comparison. And yes, while this isn't perfect science or anything, it's close enough to the truth. So is Deepwood better? Yes. And I absolutely should have mentioned that, but I also think people are blowing it out of proportion just because the one big number she does is smaller in Golden Troop. If you only care about seeing that one singular big number be bigger, then sure. Golden Troop is a crime. But if you care about the actual overall damage of a rotation, which in my opinion should be more important, Golden Troop is still worse, again, but it's not by so much that, you know, I, I should get shot for it. Maybe her burst on average actually hits four times on a single target. It still really won't change that much. Get her signature set if you can. Go Deepwood if you have a good set on it and go Golden Troop if you don't have a good Deepwood set. That's what I did and what I should have said in the video. I think it would be kind of cool probably unrealistic if you guys could deliver the feedback in a slightly less you know bad way a lot of people were just straightforward and factual about things and that was cool but there were you know quite a few people not being cool about it at all being super rude and yeah it's the internet i i shouldn't show that it affects me but at the end of the day, I, I'm just a guy here and I would like to read comments more often and stuff but it makes me feel really bad honestly nearly every time I do. I'm not perfect. I most likely will never be. I have been for like the past six months doing some level of research before I go in and make a video and I would never want to on purpose get something wrong, of course, but sometimes the sources I'm checking also get things wrong. This is something I do stress about a lot. I know it doesn't come across in my videos. I'm just some some dude playing and like talking about things, but the confidence in myself has been slowly getting chipped away to where I'm kind of afraid to say anything at all about anything. And yeah, I really don't know what that means for me going forward. I'm going to just keep trying to improve day by day as I've been doing, but <laughs> hasn't really been helping so far. There's also one reason that I very rarely title my videos as a guide or even a showcase because I I really don't want people just going into one of my videos and taking everything as fact, but I am held to that standard whether I like it or not. At the time of posting this video, I will have deleted the Emily video and I will repost it with those corrections in place. I know I should have done this for a lot of videos in the past. It feels too late for those though. So I think, you know, better late than never, maybe. 